Hey y'all, it's Sheila. Thank you for stopping by and spending part of your day with me. This video could be getting a little controversial up in here today. Just putting that out there. First of all, I'm almost 58. I have normal skin, but I have sensitive skin because I have pretty bad rosacea. Uh, my skin has improved dramatically over the last year. I'm, I'm really happy with my skin. Uh, second of all, uh, I've been using Retin-A, Tretinoia for between 10 and 15 years, and it's for vanity's sake. It is, but not for wrinkles and crow's feet and stuff like that. It was for my seborrheic keratosis. Any dark spots you see here are not age spots. They are seborrheic keratosis. Yeah, they they look like they're stuck on you. They're kind of scaly and thick, and they have to be removed by a surgeon. And I'm covered in them from my top of my head down to my ankles. So my most surgeon suggested years and years ago we try Trentinoyan to see if it would slough off. Oh, okay, let me back up. They turn dark. They turn very, very, very dark, almost black. And she said, let's try some of this a couple times so we can see if it'll keep them light. And then you'll be more comfortable. And it did, and that's why I've continued to use it. But every now and then something pops up on the YouTube that it's the latest, greatest, most wonderful thing, and everybody's all a buzz about it. A313. It's from France. You can get it on Amazon. It's France's version of pharmaceutical grade. Trentinoyan, Retin-A. Now, years ago, France had another one called Avabon, and it was discontinued because it, of a stabilization issue, and it was in a lanolin base. Uh, you know, sort of a natural product, lanolin. A lot of people use creams and stuff with lanolin, and that's what the first one was in. And then they came out with this, and it's not in a lanolin base. So uh, everybody was talking about it, and I ordered some. But I've done a lot of reading on it, and I did some reading before I ordered it, but I've done more reading after I've gotten it. Yeah, I'm like, pomade, pomade. Hmm. Well, it's, it's a pomade. Um, it's a clearish white gel. See how shiny that is? Kind of looks like Vaseline, doesn't it? Kind of feels like Vaseline on your face, too. And y'all know I don't like anything greasy or goopy on my face. So, what do I think about it? Uh, I think if you're using 0.01% Tretinoin and you're expecting that from this, this is 0.12%. It's not as strong as your 0.01% or your 0.05%. But there's a few little things in here that may make this a little different. Some people say this works better than even the strongest Trentinoyan because it has some drivers in it. It has products that are drivers and they drive the product deeper into the skin and their humectants. What those products are are PEGs, polyethylene glycol, which taken by mouth is a laxative. Did y'all know that? PEGs are in a lot of our skincare creams uh, and stuff that we use for our face because they are drivers and they drive those good things deeper into the skin and make them more effective. They also drive bad things deeper into the skin. Whatever's there, it's going to be driven deeper into the skin. So when I use this, I make sure my face is clean as a whistle. I don't want any pollutants from the day, from the atmosphere, uh, makeup residue, uh, anything driven deeper into my skin than what's in this tube. No, don't want it to happen. PEGs, uh, some of you will say, oh, I don't like those PEGs. Let me flip over to my laptop here. What are PEGs? PEGs, polyethylene glycols are petroleum-based compounds. Did I mention it feels like Vaseline? Uh, widely used in co cosmetics as thickeners, solvents, softeners, and moisture carriers. PEGs are commonly used in cosmetic cream bases, and they are also used in the pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical industry as laxatives. This is not to be taken orally. Anything that's there, these PEGs are going to drive it deeper into the skin. So some people say, well, yeah, it's only 
but it's working so much better. People with really severely dry skin may really like this. They may really like this because of the peeling and flaking and because it pretty much feels like Vaseline going on your face. I can't imagine anybody being dry enough and putting this on their face that they need to go back in with another moisturizer. When I put it on, it doesn't spread well. It's so thick, it just doesn't spread well. I have a hard time spreading it. And then within a minute, I've got stinging, tingling, and burning. Now, because these PEG drivers are in there, uh, you may get some purging. Hence this big zit. Yeah, I wasn't crazy about that. Um, I think that's from this. And it could just be from the PEGs because my face don't like a lot of grease. It's either because it drove it so deep and I'm purging or either it's just because it's greasy. You know, and also, one of the things you need to keep in mind Depending on the manufacturing process, PEGs may be contamin contaminated with measurable amounts of ethylene oxide, ethylene oxide and diox dioxane, which are known carcinogenics to humans, and this stuff can linger in your drinking water. It can linger in your water system. Uh, I don't expect any of y'all going to be going in the bathroom squirting this down the tube. Um, and what I'm saying is, is this the newest, greatest thing? I don't know. Am I giving up my 0.01% Retin-A? No, I'm not giving it up. This is so uncomfortable for me to use due to the grease factor. Just the grease factor. Uh, but if you have severely dry skin, you may really like this. Is it going to work better than our tretinoin? It may. It may not. I don't know. I'm going to continue using it once or twice a week, uh, get a better feel for it. My first impression is, it's a hot, greasy mess. It's greasy. And did I wake up the next morning with my face feeling plumped up and soft and supple? No, I woke up sticky. I still woke up sticky. And, and I didn't use too much. I used about a fourth of a pea size the last time I used it, and I still woke up sticky. My face does not absorb some things well. My face doesn't absorb sticky stuff, so greasy stuff, because I guess I just don't like it. But, yeah, that's how I felt. Now, I have a friend that's used it, and she goes, oh, in the morning I wake up, and my face feels plumped and so good. That didn't happen for me, but it happened for her. And I bet at some point she's going to talk to you about it. But please, y'all, do your research. Don't jump on every bandwagon coming and going. Don't. Do some research. You know, if you're sitting here looking at me, you got internet, you can hop on your phone, your laptop, your desktop, and you can Google things and read up on it. Don't, you know, do I think it's bad? No, I don't think it's bad. I just don't know how good it is. And I'm not willing to give up my 0.01% for the reason that I'm using it for those separate keratosis. I want the strong stuff on there. So that's just my thoughts on it. And I'm going to put some links below uh, where you can click on the links and read more about this. But it may work great for you. And it may be the best thing that, that you've ever run across. Um, but please... Do your research. Y'all have a great day. Make it a great day. Every day is truly a great day. And I'll see y'all later. I'll let you know in a couple months what I think about this. A313. Bye now.